Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear yes, you. Teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How's everything? Good. All good, Miguel Angel. It's very good. All good. Well, it's yeah. great to see you in class again. You're not that absent anymore. And Roberto, well, last night was your first time, I think, in the module, right? That you were absent. Yes. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. Once in a while. Well, last night we were learning feelings and gestures. Mm. Let's see if you remember what they are. JC is here. JC, JC. <laughs> Hi, JC. Hi, good evening. How are you doing? Huh? Um, How are you doing? I uh, finished uh, the, take my dinner. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Don't go with them. Let's see if you remember, guys. What was this? What was this gesture? Uh -huh. Miguel Angel, uh huh. Uh, uh, quick, uh, your hair. Twirling your hair. Twirling your hair. What about this one? Stretching your hair. Stretching your head. Very good. This one. <laughs> rolling, Annoying. rolling eyes. Rolling your rolling eyes. Your okay, very good. Um, this one. You're rolling, rolling. <laughs> Squeezing your nose, something like that. Uh, it's actually. Oh my gosh! Hold on. Wrinkling your nose. Ah. Like this, wrinkling your nose. Okay, the other one was like this. Listen. Like a rabbit. Can you hear? Mm, I'm doing that with my foot. Fit. Foot? Aha, but what is that action? Tapping. Tapping your Tapping foot. Aha, uh -huh, very foot. good. Okay, and. Eating your fingers, fingernails. <laughs> no. <laughs> biting your nails. Biting your nails. Oh, biting, biting your nails. nails. Okay, one more time. This time we're gonna do it faster. All right, listen. You didn't hear that? That no. was my foot. That's tapping your foot. Tapping your foot. Tapping. Okay. This way. Closing your eyes. eyes. Yes. Eyes. I don't have my hair <laughs> down today. What was this one? Rolling or rolling your hair. Curling your hair. Biting your nails. Target. This one. Mm -hmm. Ah, forgot the word. It, it, it comes from no. wrinkle. It comes from the word wrinkle. Ah, uh, wrinkling your nose. Wrinkling. Ah, uh -huh, wrinkling your nose. Wrinkling your nose. Wrinkling your nose. Very good. Okay, we're gonna move on then. Um, I hope you're you're remembering that. But there is other well, there are other words that are related to body gesture and and body language. For example, this one. How do you how do you say this? Huh. <laughs> how do you say this? Um. This is folding your arms. For folding Arms. like a folder. Yes, folding your arm. Your arms. Fold. Okay, right. so arm. guys, if uh, is it okay to fold your arms in a in an interview, in a job interview? No. Why not? No. 
because you're showing you're not interested in the in the job. Really? What do you think, JC? About what? <laughs> About folding your arms in an interview like this. Ah, uh, uh, for example, to not uh, not interesting about the okay karen if you roll your eyes like this to someone what does it mean maybe that you are bored you are not interested in what other people is talking about yes yes it could mean a lot of things right should be annoyed, you're tired, you're impatient, so it should be a lot of things. Very good. Okay, read the objective, please, Karen. In this class, you will listen, practice, and learn about body language using models and adverbs. Okay, very good. By the way, is roll your eyes at someone. I was making sure. Not to someone, but at someone. All right, let's uh, listen to this conversation. I'm gonna play it for you. Hey guys, last Hi, night. Hi, welcome back. Miss last night, did you have difficulty listening to me? Was it breaking up at all or it was okay? It was okay. It was okay, really? Because I'm in a different place now, closer to my, my router. I, I felt like I was having issues, but well, if you say so. Oh no, but you don't know, Roberto, you were not in class. <laughs> Last night. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was breaking I up just last want night. To mess. <laughs> so I'm in a different place. I'm in the corridor, actually. <laughs> Finding places. Okay, let's listen. Listen to the following conversation and pay attention to the use of models and adverbs as they speak. Remember, you may practice the conversation with a friend or a classmate. After the conversation, you will listen to the explanation. Have you met Raj? Part A. Listen and practice. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Explanation. Listen to the following conversation and pay attention to the use of models and adverbs as they speak. Remember, you may practice the conversation with a friend or a classmate. After the conversation, you will listen to the explanation. Have you met Raj? Part A. Hold on, I wanted us listen. to listen to explanation, but um, let's see first, before you practice, where can you see modals or adverbs being used in the dialogue? Can you see any? Let's see, have you met Raj? The new Raj, Raj, I don't know how to pronounce it. Well, he seems really nice. There's one thing I noticed from side to side. Hey, he doesn't understand you. It could, could would be a modal, right? Could is a model. What else? That's the only one I see. We're gonna practice this dialogue first, okay? And then see uh, which ones we're supposed to be learning because this could be a modal, but I don't know if that's what they mean. So we're gonna check. But let's practice this dialogue in pairs, all right? Let me see, it's gonna be Accept the invitation, please, and let's practice. Real annoying. Okay. I 
accept the invitation, please, Noe. Teacher, yes. The features of the conversation. Oh, you don't have it open. All right, hold on. No. Nope. And let me see. Hold on. Let me share. Wait, I you. Mm. Yeah, I just sent it. Start quality though. Oh no, it looks better. My camera was dirty. So it was blurry. Okay, yes. here it is. I got, yes. I, 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 I got it. it. Check the second image. Uh huh. Yeah, by the way, it's section 4.3. Just in case. 4.3. Yes. Let's practice quickly because I think the other guys are about to finish. You know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their head from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so uh, that's what this wait. means. Wait, this is a third person. Huh. What? <laughs> Nothing. Um, oh, yeah, you know, there, there, is a, there is a third person. Another participant. Yeah. But yeah, you can do that part. Yes, okay, I think you that do the last part. means yes for them. <laughs> no, actually, because when i used to work in the united states mm -hmm. i used to work for for indian people they every time they keep talking to you and they they going like this they going like this like this like this and i say okay and i i start like okay <laughs> like they say like like you know like last night i i, I went to to to, to, to the cinema and and i I think there's something normal for them. They just shake their hands from side to side. Yeah, no, like, but I, they, I go, read yeah, they go like this. Days, I read one of these days that this means yes in some countries. It means yeah. yes. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, like Chavo used to say, yes. Uh-huh. No. <laughs> yes, <that's right. laughs> All right, continue. Let me check out the other guys. Okay. That people, the people from India move his head to mean that they agree with you? No, I didn't. Mm. I don't know. Yes, it means they agree. It's just like, ah, uh, it's like, uh huh, okay, yes. For them, it's like this. <laughs> No, but oh, it okay. means uh -huh. they they move his head like this or or, or like what? this from side to side. And when they are in disagree, how they do? No, that I have no idea. <laughs> but in some countries, this means yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the opposite. <laughs> uh huh. Exactly. This I don't know. And um. In some countries, 
it's offensive in Australia. It's offensive to do this. I don't know what it means for them, but it's offensive. <laughs> So yeah. you have you have to be careful when you know people from other from other countries. Mm -hmm, exactly, I would be like like this if I were Indian. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go back. I think you finished. Okay. Okay, here we are. So guys, I have an article that talks about differences in countries regarding body gestures and which ones are offensive, which ones are different. I'm gonna send you that. Maybe you're interested okay, in reading it. You. Okay, yeah. Thank yeah, you. I'm curious now. Very good. Now let's learn about those modals and those adverbs that we're supposed to learn about tonight. Uh, read the objectives, please, Miguel. By the end of the class, participants will learn to use models and adverbs to talk about meaning. Very good. Let's watch. Ready? Let's talk about models and adverbs. Notice they both go from a slight to a strong possibility. Don't go and stay for more. Let's look at this small diagram to illustrate what we mentioned in the intro video. Models and adverbs go from slight possibility to strong possibility. Models, it might, may, mean, it could mean, it must mean. Adverbs, maybe. Guys, do you have a notebook with you? A notebook? Mm -hmm. All right, I would like you to take notes about this topic so you can remember more. You know why? <laughs> this is this is a, a custom I've, I've developed here. Hold on. Uh -uh. Oh, that's how I can see all of you. I always say notebook and I show this because people here in Argentina, every time I say notebook, they think of their laptop right away. They don't think of this, so I have to say it, but yeah, I don't need to clarify that to you. But if you have one, please take what, take it and take notes, all right? Ready? Let's talk about models and adverbs. Notice they both go from a slight to a strong possibility. Don't go and stay for more. Let's look at this small diagram to illustrate what we mentioned in the intro video. Models and adverbs go from slight possibility to strong possibility. Models, it might, may mean, it could mean, it must mean. Adverbs, maybe, perhaps, it means, it possibly, probably means, it definitely means. Therefore, this is how we're going to use models and adverbs. It means, it possibly, probably means, it definitely means. Therefore, this is how we're Maybe, perhaps, it means, it possibly, probably means, it definitely means. Let's read them. So we're going to go from slight possibility, meaning small possibility, versus a big possibility. Okay, uh, read with me and say it might, or it may. It might. May. They may. This is confusing because I think that we should go from the bottom and up, right? This is confusing. Okay. Um, yep. It could mean. It could mean. It could mean. It must mean. It must mean. Must mean. Yes. Okay. For example, if I do this, what uh -huh. does it mean? You can say it might mean this if you're not so sure, or it must mean this if you're a hundred percent sure. So what does it mean? Does mean what does this it mean? Must mean? It must, it must mean, mean what? Mean. It must mean what? It must mean 
Okay. 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 So you're a hundred percent sure. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. Very good. What about uh, this? Hmm. It might mean. It might. <laughs> Money. No, just like this. Uh -huh. So it might mean what? What for your? It might mean a little bit. A little oh, bit. Just a little bit. But I'm doing this. <laughs> it could mean. <laughs> uh -huh. It could mean how what? much. It could mean. Okay, it depends on how certain you are. If you're a hundred percent sure of what you're going to say, for example, if I do it, you can, you can say it must mean great, right? Because you're sure. But if you say it might mean it's because you have no idea, you're just guessing. Or it could mean yeah. like you have the impression, all right? So this is, uh, I've seen Japanese, I think, do this. And it means, it, it, for them, it's a heart. Wow. This is the equivalent of a heart for Japanese. Don't trick us. No, I'm not kidding. Mm. I'm going to show you all of that. <laughs> all right, very good. So is this difference clear? Yes? Yeah. All right, now it could, mean... <laughs> it could mean that, all right? I'm not 100% sure, mm -hmm. so it could mean a heart. Okay, but I'm almost positive. Adverbs, let's read them. So you're not sure, we're going to say maybe, perhaps. Go ahead. Maybe, maybe perhaps. perhaps. Maybe, perhaps. maybe eh, possibly, probably. Is possibly, possible? no, just probably. Possibly, possibly, probably. Possibly, probably. 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 Possibly. Okay, and then possibly. definitely. Probably. Definitely. 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 No, that kind of words are difficult. <laughs> Say definite. Definitely. 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 Therefore, Definitely. this is how we're going to use models and adverbs. When we're not sure about the meaning, we use models of possibility. For example, might, may, could, might, or we may, may use adverbs such could. as maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably. Possibly. And when we're sure about the meaning, we use the model must or adverb definitely. If we go back to the chart, we will realize we use the base form of the verbs when we use model verbs. And when we use adverbs, we need to be careful with the verb. The verb must be used in third person singular. In other words, we add final S on the verb means. Something else that is important to know is the use of maybe and perhaps. These adverbs always go at the beginning of a sentence, whereas possibly, probably and definitely go after the subject. Are you ready to come up with your own sentences? Verbs always go at the beginning of a Let's look at the position of it. Uh, maybe and perhaps always have to go at the beginning of the sentence. Um, I don't, yes, okay, let's say always, that's fine. The use of maybe and perhaps mm -hmm. always at the beginning. Let's make some sentences, uh, two, one for each one. So let's say one with um, perhaps. So let's say perhaps what, guys? Perhaps? Uh -huh. Tonight is going to rain? Yeah. Uh, yes, very good. Hi, Fatima. Perhaps no, sorry. It's going to rain tonight. Very good. And we can say maybe it's going to rain tonight. Okay, and possibly Percent. probably and definitely go after the subject. So if we want to say it's going to rain, where should I put probably guys? This say probability that it's going to rain tonight. You can say it's probably going to rain tonight. 
You can say, I will probably, probably I'll probably go, and so on. Okay. Tense. Whereas possibly, probably, and definitely go after the subject. Are you ready to come up with your own sentences? Share with us two sentences using models and two sentences using adverbs. Now that we have this, let's look at the video again. Adverbs. Notice they. And where can we see those models or those adverbs? Here. Where can you see them? Let's let's underline them. Hey, we'll see. Now that you know them, let's find them. Have you met? Maybe it means. Uh -huh, maybe, maybe it's one of them. Very good. Where is it? Maybe, maybe, maybe it means. Da, da, da. Okay. Or it could mean. It could. Very good. What else? Seems no. Maybe. Well, he seems. No, the thing is, Fatima, no. we're working with must, actually, could, might, and may. No, not actually. Actually, something else in this case. What else? Do we have probably? Sometimes no. at the side. Possibly? No, right? Okay, so that's about it then. Let's move on. Only two. There are only two. Let's see. There's probably an exercise. We're going to do it right now. Yeah. Okay. This is the one. Let's practice this. Look at the images. And what do you think it means? Okay. I don't want you to only say, for example, one is good luck. I want you to say it must mean good luck or it could mean good luck or it might mean good luck or it probably okay. means good luck, okay? I want you to use that. So either the modals or you're gonna say it probably or possibly means, okay? Or it definitely means. Use those. I want you to discuss that in uh, small groups, all right? Accept the invitation, please. Everybody go to this section, access the platform, go to section 4.6. All right, here we go. Monday. Ah, bye. Yeah. Yeah. I, I see the platform. Okay. Well, what would you do? Okay, number one. Wait, give me a minute. Hello, be quiet. Number one is the songs. That sounds crazy. Yes. It must mean that sounds crazy. Uh huh. Or it definitely means that sounds crazy. Try to use a model. It or, definitely. Uh huh. Try to use a model or an adverb. Adverb. Yes. Uh, Okay. Okay, number two. Number two. It definitely means come here. The number two is 
Maybe it may be means maybe come. maybe it means. I'm gonna ah, sorry. The, maybe I'm going it to means. send you the adverbs and the modal so that you can see that and use it. Or you can use a modal or adverbs. Very so that you can practice all of them. Okay. Maybe it means come. Number number two. Yes, the number two. It's come here. Uh, he found you. Number number five. Probably. Means Probably means good luck. Good luck. Six and number six, it definitely means I can't hear you. Hear you. Okay, the all is correct. Yes. All as the correct, yes. You finished? We should get a candy. <laughs> I yes. know, but we're not <laughs> face to face. <laughs> Sorry, no candy for you. <laughs> Here we are. Hey, it's been so long since I last saw this. Like, oh, many years ago, I saw that. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> all right, did you get all the answers right? Yes. Very good. We're just gonna move on then. Uh, let's do section 4.7. Fatima, can you read the objective? Um, by the by the end of this class participants will know and practice how to use models to express permission obligation and prohibition okay um guys we just use models for what what were they for do you remember we use must could might and mate for to express what No idea? Okay, we use them right now. We practice to express probability. Okay. This is what we're working on. Now we're going to use the same exact model to express what? Permission. Now we're going to express permission. Uh -huh. What else? Obligation, obligation, very good, and prohibition, right? Prohibition. Prohibition, very good. So, guys, the same models you can use for a lot of things. All right. Uh, let me ask Karen, when do we use models or what do we use them for? Karen? I don't hear you. Karen? Hi. Hi. Uh, what do we use models for? To express pro prohibition, possibilities, uh, obligation. Mm -hmm. And there's one more. Mm. Permission. Permission. Yes, that's the last one. Very good. Is that clear? Now let's see how they work. Hi, let me ask you a question. Are you allowed to drink and drive? This time we'll talk about permission, prohibition, and obligation. So stay around for the explanation. Permission, obligation, and prohibition. Permission. You can camp here. You're allowed to take off your shoes. Obligation. You have to camp here. You've got to take off your shoes. Prohibition. You can't camp here. You aren't allowed to take off your shoes. When we talk about permission, we will use can or be allowed to. For example, you can park here. He's allowed to stay up late. We will use can't and not be allowed to for prohibition. He can't smoke in the lobby. 
they are not allowed to answer the phone. If you notice, it's the opposite of our permission usage. Finally, we have obligation. For obligation, have to or have got to are used. You have to pay rent. He's got to pick up the trash. Write one example for permission, obligation, and prohibition with real information about you. What can you do? What are you allowed to do? And what do you have to do? Don't forget to write your examples on our discussion box. Obligation and prohibition. All right. Um, these are different. The ones that we study, we can also use for the things I mentioned, all right? But these are different. We're going to say have to and a have got to. All right. So when you have permission, we're going to say can and be allowed to. Let's give an example, all right? What is one thing you can do in class, guys, or you're allowed to do in class? Pay attention to class. No, but something you're allowed to do. Mm -hmm. What's something you can do? Study. Uh, that's more like an obligation. But we're talking about permission right now. Uh, drink nah, water. Not really an obligation. Uh huh. We can drink water. You can drink anything, guys, in class. Except alcohol. Not really. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is a prohibition. <laughs> no, really, you can drink anything while in class. Look at Karen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're loud. You remember me. Yes. <laughs> drink water. <laughs> that is right. I have a big bottle here of water. Look. You can see. There it is. All right. You can drink anything while in class except alcoholic beverages. Drink and drive. Sorry? You can drink and drive. Okay, no, but we're still working with permission. Let's focus on this first. All right, now let's say... No, that's what I'm saying, permission to drink and drive. <laughs> so we are allowed to... We're allowed to do what? Express your opinion in class. Yes, you're allowed to express your opinion in a way. There are topics you can talk about, way. right? Politics, religion, sex, all of those you can talk about in reality. But you have never done it, so it's okay. <laughs> it's the norm. <laughs> now, um, let's see obligation. Okay, as Salvadorian citizens, what are your obligations? To stay at home. <laughs> so work. let's say we have to work. What else? Try to use those expressions, uh huh? To okay. we have to connect at eight o'clock. Uh huh. We have to connect to class. Okay, as as students at eight. We good. have to pass the class. Okay. We have to the exam. We've got to. Let's try this one. We've got to. Yeah, yes. complete the platform. Complete the platform. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Fatima uh -huh. knows everything about the rules. No, I I oh, have please. received um, I have correct. received some some messages. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's why. <right. laughs> okay, so uh, what are some prohibitions in the country? Uh, go no out. Drinking under age. Go out. What about we go can't. out? Let's put it with a out. We can't uh, go can. out. Uh -huh. We can, yes. Okay. During quarantine. Okay. Go out. We can go out. What else? Now this one. We Let's can this have one. group. Of, we, we can't have oh, a group of people. So we can't have a group gathering. <laughs> Okay, now this one, aren't allowed. We aren't allowed, we aren't allowed to go to church. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We aren't allowed to go to, go to church. To, to, go to, to go to mass on Sunday. Uh-huh, exactly. Yes, is that clear? 
clear. Very good. Yes. That's fine then. Uh, now, let me ask you something. It's not part of this, but it's still. Okay. Uh, can you give me an example using don't have to? Any example? I don't have to don't have eat to fish smoke. if I don't like it. Uh huh. That was great. I don't have to eat fish if I don't like it. What else? No, eh? Um, I don't have. Um, uh, I don't have to smoke in pool. No, it's just like uh, don't add it alone. Aha, uh -huh. okay, that is what I meant. Look, this is incorrect, guys. Uh -huh. Because the meaning of don't have to is you are free of obligation. It's not necessary. That's what it means. Yeah. So if you say, I don't have to, it's like, oh, I, it's not necessary for me to smoke in public. I'm not forced. That's what you're saying. So don't have to is not the equivalent of have to. It's not the opposite. It's not the opposite. Okay, the opposite no. of the opposite of don't have to is I don't have to, I don't need to. I I don't have to is must, for example. Okay. Let me see. I don't need to do it. I don't have to do it. Yeah, it's not the opposite in reality. So this example is good. I don't have to eat fish, so it's not necessary. It's not, it's not my obligation, right? That's what I mean. Very good. Now let's practice. We're going to go to the other one. I don't have to wake up early on Saturday. Perfect. That totally works. Okay. Now we're going to look at the images and match the school rules with the correct sign. So here you have a picture. I don't want you to only say what picture it is, but I want you to tell me what it means. For example, you're not allowed to play soccer in school, for example, all right? Here, you have, you've got to, or you have to park the bike and lock it, all right? I want you to say the meaning as well, all right? Ready? Okay. So let's go to that section, and we're gonna work with different people, let me see. There, um, activate patient, please. The A. We need to do the first one. You, I know. You are not allowed to get food in. No, I don't know how to say. It. No, look. It's like a, a, in a restaurant, for example. You are not allowed to get in food to bring it in. food bring it food sorry to bring food in okay yes i sent you the chart with all the expressions so you have them handy and you can use them as well you send it i have plans for the, the platform ah okay um <laughs> It's okay, you can show them the answers because then you're going to discuss. Or someone ah, hasn't yeah. done it. Because in, in here, finish, you right? don't use the models, no. You only pick the picture. Uh-huh, yeah. 
But number yeah. two says no eating or drinking in the classroom. So that can that can help you. If it's number eight, it's about the classroom. Yes. The B. The B is about from out the, the lights light. when leaving. So you have to turn off the light when you leave. Yeah. Yes. Right. You Very have, good. You have the C. No pets. Well, or no. What is that? No eating or drinking in the classroom. No picture A. Ah, picture A. So yeah. you you are not allowed to. You are not allowed to drink, to eat, or drinking in the classroom. No playing ball in the age, right? Age, correct. So you, we can say. You don't have play ball in the hallway. You can. No, it's like for a like prohibition. Aha, prohibition. Don't have to is no tener que como no tengo que trabajar mañana. No tengo que jugar. Okay. So it's not applicable. You can't. Uh, yes, you need prohibition. You can play ball in the hallway. Keep the classroom door closed is picture D, right? Yeah. So uh, you have to or you or you've got to keep the classroom door closed. You have you have, have to, to uh -huh. get the classroom door closed. So number five, no pets allowed in campus is C. It's a prohibition. Yes, you are not allowed. Uh, uh, you are not allowed. To have pets, you are not allowed to have pets. No, no, no. Pets are not allowed. Pets are not allowed on campus. Mm -hmm, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, throw. Can, can and can't. Yes. Allow and, and not allow. Okay. We finished, miss. <laughs> yeah, the other team, I think they haven't, but uh, we're going to go back anyway. Okay. okay. All righty. What are some examples you came up with? Let's see. Um, let me look at the image. And tell me quickly, uh, what is... Letter D, quickly, guys. You have to close the door. You have to close the door when you leave, for example. When you leave the classroom, yeah. You don't pet in the classroom. You're it, not allowed. Try to use one of the expressions, Miguel. I sent them here. Here, so you can see them. So you can say pets are not allowed. Pets are not allowed. Or you aren't allowed to have pets. Okay. Uh, this one. Letter G. Uh, put the garbage in its place. But what is the, the model you're using? Uh... Obligation, permission, or prohibition? You have to put the garbage in its place. Yes, very good. What and do we this can mean? use? We can use to trash have to be. Mm, 
you can, can use order. 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 This one. You can say, for example, this pose trash at the trash bin or trash can. Trash. Or, or littering is not allowed. Now, there are many things you can say about trash. I don't know why. <laughs> so many options. Okay, now my last question is, if you're at a hotel, guys, at a hotel, what are the usual or common rules they have? Try to use models, okay? What are the rules at hotels in general? Has everybody been at a hotel? Yes, right? Yes, I will. Yes. Uh -huh. You have to make a reservation. You have to make a reservation. Very good. Some more examples before we finish. Noé, Fatima, Roberto, Karen. You're not allowed to smoke? Smoke, yes. In the smoke. Room. Hotel room, very good. Miguel, AC. I'm asking about hotels. What are the common rules they have? Common rules are hotels. Not allowed to uh, to to smoke. Okay, JC, Miguel Angel, Noé, Roberto. Give me one example each person, and we can finish. <laughs> That's why when you were little, right? <laughs> <laughs> hurry, hurry, <laughs> hurry. Yeah, one example per person. <laughs> we can go. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure, but. <laughs> 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 Uh -huh. Okay, rules at hotels. Go on. You you can't eat here, for example. Yeah, in a certain place, maybe. In the in the pool, you can. Ah, okay. Yes, no eh, Robert. Mm. Uh, you have to. Uh, it's not allowed uh, um, listening music uh, high uh, volume. So let's say you are not allowed to listen to music at loud at a loud. Allowed voice. at loud. Allowed. Allowed. Yes. Or to listen to loud music. Simple as that. Loud music. Roberto? Or you're not allowed uh, to make noise. Mm -hmm. You won't believe me. Mm -hmm. I'll be trying to tell you you have to pay in advance and I didn't notice my microphone was on you. <laughs> I knew something was going to with you. I know because you're always talking. So you have to pay. Oh my God. I knew something was going on with you. I was going to ask you. You have to pay in advance. That is right. Okay. Great job. Now we're free to go. You don't have to give me more examples. It's not a prohibition, <laughs> but it's a, re a reward. Okay. It's not a prohibition. It's a reward. Uh, thank you very much. Do you have any questions? I'll teach. No. no teach. Are we allowed to have questions? <laughs> You're allowed to ask. No. <laughs> you may ask. No, right now, no. <laughs> All right, you don't have to do homework. You can go to bed. <laughs> okay. okay. Nice. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a beautiful night. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye.